In this video, we'll talk about the number of protons, neutrons, electrons, and then the mass number for boron. So as we look at the periodic table here, we see that boron has an atomic number of five. The atomic number, that's the number of protons. So we know that boron has an atomic number of five and that it has five protons. And that doesn't matter which isotope of boron we're dealing with. Boron will always have five for its atomic number and five for its protons. We'll talk about isotopes a little bit later. We also know that in a neutral element, the, so we're talking a neutral element, number of protons is gonna equal the number of electrons. So if you have boron, like it's on the periodic table, just B, that's a neutral element. All the elements on the periodic table, those are neutral. If you had a positive or a negative sign, say three plus here, that would be an ion. That's not a neutral compound. So we're only talking about neutral compounds here. The number of protons equals the number of electrons. So we'll put five here and same. It doesn't matter which isotope we're dealing with. Always going to be five for a neutral boron. We're left trying to figure out the number of neutrons and the mass number. Now, normally you're given one of these when you're giving a table like this. You'll be given either the mass number or the neutron, and then you can use this little formula to figure the other one out. If you're not given that number there, if you're not given the mass number or the number of neutrons, you can look at the average atomic mass. This is an average of the isotopes of boron. So it's 10.8, and we're going to round that to a whole number, 11. So once we know the mass number for this isotope of boron, we'll say 11, Mass number of 11 equals protons, which we said was five, plus neutrons, and we don't know that. So something plus five gives us 11. Six plus five, that would give us the 11 there. So we have six neutrons and a mass number 11 for boron here. And we call it boron 11 based on its mass number. It's an isotope of boron. So let's talk about isotopes. If you have a sample of boron, a block of boron, most of it is going to be boron 11. So since this is an average, this number is closer to 11. That means the mass number, most boron atoms will have five protons and six neutrons, and then their mass number will be 11. Turns out about 80% of the atoms will be boron 11. The other 20% will be boron 10. That means they'll have a mass number of 10. So when we average these numbers, the weighted average, we get 10.81. So that's what we see on the periodic table. That's the average atomic mass. It'll usually have a decimal. Well, we can figure out neutrons now because we say we have 10. Something plus five gives us 10, five neutrons. And this is gonna be called boron 10. So those are our two isotopes of boron. And if we average the mass numbers based on the abundance of each isotope, we'll get 10.81. Sometimes you'll see this written in nuclear notation. And when we do that, we take the atomic number, we put that down here, and then for boron 11, we would put the mass number 11 right here. So this is boron 11. And then if we did boron 10, we'd have our boron. It's always five for the atomic number for boron, but we'll put the mass number here as 10. And that's the other isotope of boron. So we have these two primary isotopes here for boron. This is Dr. B with the number of protons, neutrons, electrons, and mass number for boron. Thanks for watching.